Okay, now we'll have the next problem. A driver having a, let me read the question for you. A driver having a definite reaction time is capable of stopping or additions of 30 meter <coughs> on seeing a red traffic light when the speed of car is 72 km per hour. Fine. And or additions of 10 meter when the speed is 30, 36 km per hour. Assuming that his reaction time and acceleration of the car remain the same in all cases, find the distance over which he can stop the car when he is going at 54 km per hour. What do you mean by reaction time? I think we should understand the word. What do you mean by reaction time? See, the moment he sees, <coughs> the moment he sees red color traffic light, then the person will take some time, no, to press the brake or to decrease the acceleration, to decrease the speed. That is called like a reaction time. To press that brake pedal, pedal, so it will take some time. That's called a reaction. During that time, the car will continue to move with a constant speed. So here, where car gone? <laughs> then, then finally, it will undergo retardation, and it comes to rest here. Okay, this, this is the reaction time. The reaction time is same, but, but the speed with which it is moving initially, whatever the speed <coughs> with which it was moving, initial speed, now it will undergo and the retardation and the, and the aggregation of the car remains same. It will undergo retardation and finally it comes to rest. What was the earlier speed? Uh, 72 km per hour. Okay, if I rewrite it, V1, uh, this is U1, 72 km per hour. Convert this into meters, 5 by 18. I think 20 meter per second. Similarly, U2, 36 km per hour. So 36 into 5 by 18, 10 meter per second. What about U3? Let me convert into meter per second. Uh, 54 kilometer per hour. Five by eighteen. Uh, this will be eighteen, eighteen, three, three, fifteen meter per second. Okay, this was the initial speed of the car U one. That's U one. So it will cover a distance of how much X one. X one dash. It will cover here. Then. So when it's moving with a speed U2, it, it will cover seventy-two kilometer per hour. No, so let, let me show this. Let, let me adjust all the things according to the data. Hmm? Okay, this what? Okay, let, let me. Time. Okay. 
what are the questions that are asked <coughs> so we know u1 u2 u3 u1 u2 and let it be u3 this is this is the distance covered during that x1 x2 x3 what are x1 x2 y2 y3 and let this be the retardation this time is same reaction time is same for this t1 time will be same this reaction time let me call that as t then this will be t1 t2 t1 uh, let this be reaction time is t this time let it be t2 t equal to 0 t equal to t this is t3 see to put a brakes what actually happens here the car is moving then you, you will see the traffic light somewhere here find the distance over which you can stop the car so somewhere he sees the traffic light traffic light is somewhere here hmm? then when he was moving with a 72 km per hour hmm, and over a distance of 10 meter when the speed is is capable of stopping over a distance of 30 meter on seeing a red traffic light when the speed of car is 72 km per hour and over a distance of 10 meter what do you mean by 10 meter the 10 meter is this total x1 plus y1 is 30 what is this 10 meter 10 meter is this one like a, a, a what we have x2 plus y2 assuming that the reaction time and acceleration of the car remain the same find the distance over which you can stop the car when he is going at 54 km per hour he is asking this distance what is the distance is asking x3 plus y3 the reaction time is same so what is reaction time here what when it will take some time to put brake Th this is what this here is what will take a time to put a break now we'll apply break it'll undergo retardation then it'll come to rest so what is the state of this car it has come to rest uh, able to understand no? so the car is moving it will take time t to apply break after t after this time t now the car is undergo retardation now brakes are being applied it'll undergo retardation comes to rest here so what is a t i should define reaction time or time taken by person time taken by the person to press the brake pedal what are what are the t1 t2 t3 they are the retarding times they are the retardation times in the various situations we'll go for full screen we'll get a lot of space to scribble okay now we have this much of data so how to manage all this thing how to write equation now no, we know u1 u2 everything uh, we know x1 plus y1 is 10 <coughs> what is the data we have x plus x1 plus y1 is 30 x2 plus y2 is 10 now we are asking that x3 plus y3 this is a question mark what is x1 you can write it as x1 you can write it as u1 into reaction time what is x2 u2 into reaction time what is x3 u3 into reaction time then afterward the car will undergo retardation so what is the retardation retardation y1 should be equal to u1 okay t1 minus a t1 square by 2 let me take help of this one <coughs> so let me substitute so what all the things 
we know so here x1 I'll, I'll do one thing i'll come in order huh? this you may find very difficult there's a data looking at the first car x1 plus y1 equal 30 and what is x1 uh, till till is pressing the brake pedal the car will be moving with a constant speed t is a reaction afterwards it'll press the brake pedal then it'll undergo retardation let me substitute uh, let me substitute x1 y1 here so this should be equal to u1 t I'll, I'll come to this later on first we'll write for the first car u1 t plus u1 t1 a1 t1 square by 2 should be equal to 30. okay what is unknown thing now uh, what is the biggest problem is like u1 we know a t and t1 we don't know it because what is the data given only that is find the distance over which you can stop the car when is it going at 50 km per hour okay now similarly what is the data we can write it as x2 plus y2 is 20 meter 10 meter mm, yeah and then so x2 equal to u2 t then y2 equal to u2 t2 minus a t2 square by 2 let me substitute this x2 it will be u2 t u2 t2 minus a t2 square by 10 Similarly, x3, y3 is equal to how much th this, this we don't know. This has to be determined. x3 equal to u3 t. Okay, this substituting this in the that equation so u3 t plus u3 t3 okay so what all needed do we know do we have u1 u2 u3 as yes, we know it what are unknown things t1 t2 t3 and a and s so many unknowns are there what to do with this equation I think okay, you are able to see it. Yeah. Hmm. What to do with all this? How to solve this equation? Oh, no. Uh, what to do? Like we have so many unknown things are there. So there's nothing wrong in thinking like this. Only thing is like unnecessary. We brought many unknowns. Our purpose is only to get this. So is there any alternative? We can also think in by either way. What is either way? Instead of using this equation, we can we could have thought in either way. Instead of using this set of equations, I'll, I'll try to take it out. Okay, this will be a little bit more lengthy. This approach is more lengthy. You, you can solve, but you have to work out many calculations. So what is the other method? The other method is like, <coughs> what was the velocity u1? Look at here. It was moving with a speed u1 and it has come to rest. So shall we write for this car zero minus u1 square equal to two into minus of a1 into say distance y1. And we know other side x1 equal to u1 into t. And what is x1? I, I, okay, let, let me simplify. u1 square equal to 2a1 y1. Th this equation is going to help us a lot. Now we know x1 plus y1 is how much given? 30 meter. So write it. What is x1? u1 t. What is y1? 
u1 square by 2e is equal to 30. Equation 1. Similarly, 0 square minus u square equal to 2. Uh, the retardation is same no, in all the cases. Yeah. Minus 2a y2 and x2 is equal to u2t. So, solving this, we will get u2 square is equal to 2a y2. So, x2 plus y2 is equal to how much? 10. It is given data. Let's try to see that. So, therefore, let what is x2? u2t. What is y2? Solving these two, I think what are unknown things are there? T and D. Carefully look at this. Can we solve this equation? If we know u1 and u2. Solving this, I'll, I'll get expression for T as reaction time, 0 0.5 seconds. What about the retardation? The retardation was equal to 10 meter per second square. After getting this, he's asking x3 plus y3. What is x3? u3 into t plus this will be u3. Uh, okay, for first we'll do one thing. I'll, I'll come in order. 0 square u3 square equal to 2 retardation y3. So finally, what is y3 is equal to? u3 square by 2a. What is x3 equal to u3 t? So what is the distance? x3 plus y3. u3 t plus do we know t? Yes. Do we know a? Substitute them here. We'll get the distance. So it's all about like what type of equation you are going to choose the, the final answer. The, sim the simplified way of getting answer means what type of equations of motion you choose. Earlier I shown by s equal to ut plus half it is square. But what was the problem with that is like the so many unknowns, everything messed up. So therefore, the equations of motions we know. Which equations of motion if you apply it so that answer will come immediately is what you have to search. Uh, what is this reaction time? I think uh, this is problem is very important. If you take alcohol, then then definitely if a driver takes alcohol, then the reaction time will increase. This is a very dangerous. Huh? Then you will take more time to press to press the brake paddle. Then then it, the, after pressing the brake paddle, it will undergo retardation here. This is the thing. But this time will be more. So by the time when you start pressing the brake pedal, it may go and crash. That is the reason why if you take alcohol, you should not ride the bike. You should not drive the car. So the alcohol, what it will do, it will increase the reaction time. That's why we have a rules, traffic rules, like don't take alcohol and drive the car. The, what is the reason is the reaction time will increase. This will be very dangerous, no? The reaction time, if it's less, if you are alert, this will be less. Then what will happen? You need to start pressing the, the brake paddle. Th this should be least possible. So that's why you should be alert when you are driving. So therefore, I request, <laughs> of course, uh, all of your kids, you don't go for alcohol. But when you grow up, okay, you go for alcohol. Don't consume or don't drive car after consuming alcohol. Or don't ride bike after consuming alcohol. It may lead to severe accidents. So every problem here comes with certain knowledge.